Hey, it's Cody here. I've been meaning to do a classic sit-down vlog for a long time now. But I've been caught up in the hustle and bustle of out-and-about vlogs and daily vlogs. So here's a good old-fashioned regular vlog. 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 Vlog, you vlog, vlog. <laughs> Something that's kind of sad that's happening is I'm losing subs. On my chase for a thousand videos before year's end, it's caused a lot of people to be alienated from me. And I want to come out and say, fuck you. You can't live in this stream with me? Why can't you live in this stream with me and help me get to my goal and encourage me? Instead, you're like, I'm going to unsub. You're too many videos. You're making bucks. Me, 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 me. I hate you. I hate you. It's really bad, actually. It's like it's like a minus seven subs for the last month. And that that you know that takes in who has subbed and you know who is left. So I'm minus. You know, I mean, it's not like oh I lost seven subs. No, no, I lost seven subs out of the pluses I got this year this month, which is crazy. It's crazy. It's awful. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. If I make this goal, if I make it. January is just going to be me weeping slowly saying, What can I do for you to come back? Well, it's kind of a weird time to do this while I'm losing subs hand over fist. But I just want to tell you my pal, Planet Bear Wagon, is trying to get subs up. I think he set himself up a goal of uh, 100 and something subs he wants to get before New Year. So, I mean, I want you to go sub him if you like nostalgia. He's in it for the nostalgia. I love nostalgia. There's some great videos he does. He's actually done some really in-depth series about the 80s and different things. And uh, check him out. You know, I think a lot of times we get like at our wits in with YouTube or we set these goals and we can't fulfill them and we just we, we just burn out. And it's important to support people or they'll just go away. So definitely check out Planet Beer Wagon. I know I've been there where I'm like, oh, I don't want to have to, I, I'm losing interest in this. I mean. A lot of people are talking to me about stuff, and eventually I snap out of it. But you never know what's going to be the straw that's going to break someone's back, the camel's back. And uh, hopefully he gets what he wants out of this, even if he comes out short on his number. But yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. Check him out, Planet Bear Wagon. P-L-A-N-E-T-B-I-E-R-W-A-G-E-N. Eh? Go ahead. I forgot the best part of that whole thing is that it's actually a contest Planet Beer Wagon is running for uh, more subscribers. So you can have a chance to win Blu-rays or DVDs from Planet Beer Wagon himself. Which is quite nice. Quite nice. I haven't gotten around to talking about YouTube's new design. Um, you know, everyone's going to be saying negative shit. Uh, including me. I just... It's pretty bad. It's really, it's just, it's kind of weird. It's like something I expect to be really cool and cutting edge for like 2004. In fact, I think I remember Cracked having a design like this a long time ago. Because it has these, uh, you know, these square blocks, you know. It's kind of like modern. Like, remember when modern was making a comeback in the uh, late 80s and stuff and early 90s? And you look back and it just was really kind of disgusting. It really had no kind of warmth to it. But this, this reminds me of like, it reminds me of like, crack tab. Um, I don't know. I just don't like it that much. But, I, you know, I can't complain too much. They're going to do what they want to do. You know, it's just kind of sad because I always thought YouTube's design had kind of an organic feel to it. And it seems like they've been trying as hard as they can to get away from that organic feel. One thing I noticed is when I do a video upload, I used to be able to monetize it when I was doing the upload. I actually did a video back, way back, about how you know, it didn't work right. And they actually fixed it, but now it's back broken again. So whenever I upload a video, I have to run to it afterwards and put the ads on, or it won't have ads. So, that kind of sucks. Yeah. Usually on these sit-down vlogs, I have a comment of the week. At least I was trying to do that, but it's kind of hard to do that because really 
This is longer than a week ago because I haven't been doing these weekly. But still, it's my come of the week, damn it. This was on my uh, book review for Chew on This. There's a comment left by Hargcore. <clears throat> After watching this review, someone was talking about C Colonel Sanders today, and I found myself quoting your facts. I talked about his age when getting into chicken and about the McDonald's brothers and how they were bought out, etc. I found I had learned quite a bit. I was speaking for about five minutes solid. Everyone was asking how I knew so much about food. I said I watched a book review. It sounded like I had read the book. Hee <laughs> hee. That's awesome. That's awesome that someone was able to retain so much knowledge that I was able to share. That's awesome. I mean, I can't express how awesome that is without overkilling the word awesome. But, wow. Thanks, man. It means a lot. Whenever anyone uh, ever uses anything I've ever said in a video in real life, tell me because it's kind of cool it's really cool in fact so Barbara Walters was doing her uh, top 10 fascinating people 2011 or most interesting people I really wasn't paying attention I'm sorry so she had like the Kardashians as a collective and you know a list that sounds like it singles out one person whatever whatever but th the funniest part was like she's like throughout all the t turmoil this year you know the mainly the divorce is the big thing, but also one of them's pregnant again. It's a big mess, and uh, you know all this, and you know like you know, like this is a downslide. And all of a sudden they said they still managed to make number one ratings, and the show came back, skyrocketing for cable television. And Walters was acting like this is a big success story, but it's not what reality TV is all about. It's like this train wreck TV, and people wanted to see how she was coping with all this shit in her life that she's pretty much created for herself to overcome so it just it irritated me it's like it's like hey i'm sure her funeral if they tape it which they probably will when she finally croaks i'm not sure you know if that's going to be tomorrow or uh, 50 years from now but when she does um yeah they'll probably tape it because they're they're just attention whores and they'll probably do great ratings but it, it it still doesn't matter. I mean, it's still your life's still a wreck, no matter how great the ratings are. You know, Michael Jackson meant ratings doesn't mean he had any kind of peace in his life. So I just thought it was funny. It's like, you know, she's like, she's overcome it all, and her ratings are back up. Well, of course they are. It's train wreck TV. Yeah. Duh. Duh. Come on. It's just, it's, just, it's, it's aggravating. Because uh, Walter somehow links that to personal success. You know, like she made a comeback or something. She didn't make any kind of comeback. In fact, the tor the turmoil in her life is what has propelled her to the next, you know, ratings boost or whatever. Also, might as well plug Beer Wagon again here. He told me that Target was having uh, some good deals on these Mill Creek DVDs. Uh, Mill Creek has gotten the licensing to several t terrific t uh, TV shows, and they're often for real cheap. And I already had uh, the complete first season of Throw Up From the sun, the sun and then I got the second from Target and guess what? He was saying it was seven fifty, but they were having to sell that day four seventy five. Four seventy five. That's crazy. This is twenty six episodes. This I mean wait, wait, wait you know count that hours why this it's crazy how many hours of entertainment it's right here for uh oops, sorry. For four seventy five it's it's insane. Yeah. It's just, I don't know. What else can I say? Also, this is pretty awesome. I'll put this up on the TV. But this, they have these t-shirts. And most of their graphic tees are like, are for five bucks. I mean, not for five bucks. They're for, yeah, ten bucks. But these were five bucks. And this one was for five bucks. Let me see if I can get it up here. Uh, Honey Badger versus Cobra. Honey Badger don't care. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's internet gold right there. I love it. I got two of them and I got one for my brother. Five dollars. They're selling a bunch of graphic tees for that low. I got a few others. I got like my brother a Ghostbusters and a mustache shirt. So yeah, definitely some good deals at Target this year. They're definitely playing game. Oh yeah, mad, mad game. 
So yeah, I mean that's really all I have for this week. I've actually compiled this throughout like the last week, and uh, I really didn't have time to shoot you know everything all at once. So here it is, a sit down vlog. You know, not a daily vlog, not an out about vlog, just a good old relaxed vlog. So yeah. I'll see you later, my Planet Van Wagon subscribers. I said it, so it must be true. Subscribe to him. Woohoo!